This lesson will cover the following topics. Contactors. Variable resistors. Inductive sensors. Piezo sensors. Sensors are elements that convert into electrical form the physical quantities detected by them. Contactors are make-break sensors. The change of state opens or closes an electrical circuit. This contactor change of state is caused by various factors. Position, level, temperature, or pressure. Contactors are often used to activate a warning light. Contactors can also give a signal to a computer. Depending on the parameter influencing the state of the contactor, different symbols and different applications are found. In this chapter, we covered the following points. Contactors are make-break sensors. The contactor change of state is caused by the position, level, temperature or pressure. Contactors are often used to activate a warning light. Contactors can also give a signal to a computer. Depending on the parameter influencing the state of the contactor, different symbols and different applications are found. Variable resistors are sensors whose resistance varies continuously. These resistances vary in two ways. Due to the effect of a mechanical cause, such as the position of a control, due to the effect of a physical cause, such as temperature. Thermistors are resistors whose value varies with the temperature. There are two types of thermistors. Negative temperature coefficient, or NTC thermistors, whose resistance decreases when the temperature increases, and positive temperature coefficient, or PTC thermistors, whose resistance increases when the temperature increases. Here is a negative temperature coefficient thermistor. This thermistor is mounted in series with a resistor inside the computer. The computer measures the voltage across the thermistor terminals. When the temperature is low, the thermistor's resistance is high. The voltage measured by the computer is therefore increased. When the temperature increases, the resistance decreases. The voltage measured by the computer is low. The thermistor is used to measure the temperature. The potentiometer comprises a resistive strip with two connections. A metallic cursor moves over the resistive strip. The resistance measured between the metallic cursor and one end of the resistive strip depends on the position of the cursor. The rheostat comprises a resistive strip with one connection. The rheostat operates according to the same principle as the potentiometer. The potentiometer is powered through two wires. The computer measures the voltage between the cursor and one end of the resistive strip. The voltage measured depends on the position of the cursor. The potentiometer is used, for example, to send the throttle valve position to the injection module. The rheostat is used in series with a resistor inside the computer. The computer measures the voltage between the cursor and the end of the resistive strip. The voltage measured depends on the position of the cursor. The rheostat can also be used to vary the amperage of the current passing through the electrical consumer. The rheostat is used, for example, to change the intensity of the instrument panel lighting.
In this chapter, we covered the following points. Variable resistors are sensors whose resistance varies continuously. Thermistors are resistors whose value varies with the temperature. The potentiometer and the rheostat comprise a resistive strip. A metallic cursor moves over the resistive strip. The computer measures the voltage between the cursor and one end of the resistive strip. The rheostat can also be used to vary the amperage of the current passing through the electrical consumer. The inductive sensor employs the principles of magnetic induction. Variation of the magnetic field in a coil creates an induced current. The position of the core relative to the coil modifies the induced current. There are two types of inductive sensors. Pulse generator and the variable inductance sensor. The pulse generator consists of a coil wound around a permanent magnet. When a metallic part is moved close to it, the magnetic field is modified. The modification of the magnetic field creates an induced current in the coil. When the metallic part is moved away, a reverse induced current is created in the coil. The pulse generator is often used with a toothed wheel. When a tooth moves close, the signal increases. When a tooth moves away, the signal decreases. The frequency and voltage increase when the speed of rotation increases. The pulse generator is used to measure a movement, usually a rotation. Inductance is an electrical property of a coil. Inductance depends in particular on the core located in the center of the coil. Movement of the core modifies the coil's inductance. The coil is supplied with an alternating signal. The coil's inductance modifies the alternating signal. By moving the core, the inductance of the coil and hence of the signal are modified. The computer analyzes the signal and from it deduces the position of the core. The variable inductance sensor is used to detect the body height on the automated suspension system. In this chapter, we covered the following points. The inductive sensor employs the principles of magnetic induction. The pulse generator consists of a coil wound around a permanent magnet. The modification of the magnetic field creates an induced current in the coil. Inductance is an electrical property of a coil. Movement of the core modifies the coil's inductance. By moving the core, the inductance of the coil and hence of the signal are modified. The computer analyzes the signal and from it deduces the position of the core. Piezoelectric effect is translated as follows. A piezoelectric crystal produces a voltage when it is subjected to pressure. Conversely, a voltage applied to a piezoelectric crystal modifies its volume. Let us now consider two types of piezo sensor the piezoelectric transducer and the piezo-resistive transducer. The piezoelectric transducer employs piezoelectric effect. An impact or a pressure applied to the piezoelectric transducer creates a voltage across the terminals of this transducer. The vibrations applied to the piezoelectric transducer create a signal at the transducer terminals. The computer analyzes this signal so as to monitor these vibrations. The pinking sensor 
is a piezoelectric transducer that detects engine vibration. The piezoresistive transducer employs another form of the piezoelectric effect. The resistance of the piezoresistive cell varies as a function of the pressure applied to it. The piezoresistive transducer consists of a piezoresistive cell and an electronic stage. The piezoresistive transducer is powered by the computer. A pressure variation causes a variation in the resistance of the piezoresistive cell. The electronic stage converts this variable resistance into a variable voltage. The piezoresistive transducer is used to measure a pressure. In this chapter, we covered the following points. A piezoelectric crystal produces a voltage when it is subjected to pressure. Conversely, a voltage applied to a piezoelectric crystal modifies its volume. The piezoelectric transducer employs piezoelectric effect. An impact or a pressure applied to the piezoelectric transducer creates a voltage across the terminals of this transducer. The piezoresistive transducer consists of a piezoresistive cell and an electronic stage. A pressure variation causes a variation in the resistance of the piezoresistive cell. The electronic stage converts this variable resistance into a variable voltage. The piezoresistive transducer is used to measure a pressure.